Rosie Napravnik here with Twin Spires, and I'm here with jockey Ray Lou Gutierrez. Ray Lou, you've only been riding five years, and here you find yourself at the Kentucky Derby with not only a Kentucky Derby mount, but also a Kentucky Oaks mount. So tell us, how did you make it to the Kentucky circuit, and were you expecting to be riding in the Derby in 2022? Uh, no, I definitely did not expect to be riding uh, the Derby or nor the Oaks uh, this quick in my career. Um, and it's a matter of uh, this barn right behind me, Brett Calhoun, who brought me to Kentucky, and uh, Johnny Ortiz as well, who brought me to Kentucky from Colonial Downs, actually. And um, it's a matter of uh, Jose and I just linking up. Um, I was actually just riding at the Finger Lakes uh, in 2020, and um, Jose told me to come out to Texas. Uh, I put a cowboy hat on, Brett took a liking to me, and uh, I found myself here now. And uh, it's really a blink of an eye. I can't believe it. Awesome. Well, um, your Oaks filly has worked on Friday, Hidden Connection. Tell us about her. She looks like she's almost a little hard to handle out here in the mornings. How is she to ride in the afternoon? She's much different. Um, it's crazy how different she is in the afternoon, how much she relaxes, especially when she sees a target. Um, and that's exactly what I got in the fairgrounds Oaks, um, Echo Zulu, and uh, I believe Turner Loose, they were targets, and I was able to just run them down a little bit. But in the morning, she's super keen, and uh, it's a matter of just eating your Wheaties, I guess. And I really had to, like, gear her down and but she galloped out so well and she's going on to her third start after her layoff and she's never been this good that's awesome super exciting going into the at the right time going into the big race uh barbara road also worked on saturday what can you tell us about his work his work was uh phenomenal um it's exactly what we wanted exactly what we expect out of him he's not your best workhorse per se but he does what he needs to do to keep himself fit and happy and uh saturday he went uh 48 out a minute and two so it was it, it was what we wanted and uh, just nothing too much from Johnny, just keeping him happy. He's been running, he's ran in every prep, he's been running consistently since the fall meet at Keeneland last year where he broke his maiden, so it's just a matter of just keeping him happy and keeping him healthy. Now I remember going into the Kentucky Oaks in 2012 with Believe You Can, we were a little bit under the radar and I was going out to the race going, what am I missing? I feel like I can totally win this race. You said yourself, you know, the horse has been right there, but he hasn't had those big wins. So I feel like he's a little bit under the radar. Do you feel the same way? I sure do. Um, talent wise, you know, everybody's going to look at all the talented horses, of course, Zandon, put in an extraordinary work, Cyberknife as well. and. But that can only get you so far, you know. You know yourself. It's a matter of luck and getting the trip, the right holes. And uh, he's a horse that he's so easy to ride. He's gonna he's gonna put himself where he wants to be, not necessarily where I want him to be, you know. And uh, we're gonna make a run. And uh, if we get those spots, he's gonna come running regardless. Not 20 horses can't go a mile and a quarter, and he can. So uh, I'm gonna be making a good run down there. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, final question. Uh, riding in a 20-horse field, obviously, first time you're gonna be doing this. Um, what do you have in mind for? preparations like do you do you have someone that you've reached out to a, a, an older jockey that's been doing this a while uh, do you have a plan for how you how you want to handicap the race I don't know you tell me but uh, <laughs> uh, Jose's dad he's helped me out a lot of course and um, just watching a lot of replays and um, I don't know but I've, I've talked to Jose's dad quite a bit and I'll continue to speak to him and uh, I'm trying not to ask too many questions you know just at the end of the day, everyone, and probably from yourself too, it's experience just being there. Once the gates open, it's cliche. Everyone says everything changes. So um, I guess we'll see when the gates open. But preparation is uh, key. And uh, when, we, when we see the draw and the post positions, uh, that's when we'll really get into it. Awesome. Well, best of luck and enjoy the whole experience. I know that's one thing I can say in hindsight is just enjoy every moment of it. And, and best of luck in both the Kentucky Oaks and the Kentucky Derby. Thanks. I appreciate it.